Donald Trump's selection of Breitbart boss Steve Bannon as his campaign CEO is bringing new attention to the idea of the alternative right, also known as the alt-right, and what that means. Correspondent Doug McKelway has an explainer tonight. Among the huge crowds that greet Donald Trump in city after city are members of the newly coined alt-right, mostly white, male, blue-collar, rural, or red state, and for them, Trump has struck a chord. We are going to build the wall. As much as it embraces Trump's message, the alt-right has rejected that of the traditional GOP, labeling them cucks, meaning conservatives who are supposedly emasculated by globalist progressive forces. Critics have found a villain in the alt-right, labeling them as uneducated racists and sexists, energized by Trump's rejection of political correctness. But the alt-right movement is not so easily categorized. Among its members, Jared Taylor, editor of the nonprofit American Renaissance, a man often accused of being a white supremacist. The idea that America is just a nation up for grabs, that whoever can get here owns the place, no, we think that the United States has an identity and that the people who are descended from the founding stock have a right to resist dispossession. Are you a racist? Absolutely not. I don't really want to know what that term means. Also identifying with the alt-right, British Breitbart columnist Milo Yiannopoulos, a flamboyant, openly gay conservative who has embarked on a college tour intent on destroying campus political correctness. If people rise up now and say this social justice thing, this language policing, this political correctness, safe spaces, trigger warnings, microaggressions, this stuff is horse and if enough people smash its stranglehold on the public square, it will never recover. Some Jewish conservatives who've criticized Trump, Fox News contributor Jonah Goldberg among them, have been targeted by the alt-right with hate mail and tweets that use Holocaust imagery. Some say the alt-right is a predictable outgrowth of multiculturalism. When you have a multicultural society, you don't have political parties anymore. You have people voting their ethnic group. Whatever you say they are, they tend to say they're not, whether it's anti-Semitic, racist, countercultural, anti-establishment. Uh, they become very difficult for people to nail down and define as a political movement. Hillary Clinton is set to launch a full-fledged attack on the alt-right tomorrow. She will speak in Reno, Nevada to call out Trump's, quote, embrace of the disturbing alt-right political philosophy. The alt-right is fully prepared to engage her. Brett? All right, Doug, thank you.